How's it going guys? John with EMT Made Easy. In this video I am doing a review on two books that might help you study for the NREMT or just your general studies in class. Now one of them I purchased when I was a student in EMT uh, school and the other one I purchased when I was studying for my advanced EMT certification. The reason I purchased both of these books was for an REMT certification. So I wasn't really trying to catch up or supplement for my course. I was really just prepping myself for the NREMT because I was told it was going to be very difficult. One of these books is really good if you are trying to kind of grasp what's being taught in class and understand better and have little side notes. The other one is really, really good to actually prepare you for the NREMT. Okay? So they both have their value but in different ways. So the first one I'm going to go over is the one that I purchased when I was in EMT school. And that one is called EMT Crash Course. So there it is. This one is cool because I can have it on my Kindle Fire. And this is the one that I, that is also good for notes. So what this book does, just to kind of say it real quick and not get too complicated with it or talk too much about it, what it does is that it gets all the information from your thick textbook and it breaks it down into little bullet points. Straight to the point, little bullet points. That's awesome. This book is good if you are if you're in spring break or if you're in in um, what is it? Yeah, winter vacation, and you don't want to forget stuff, but you don't want to carry your big old textbook. This book is awesome, and it's on your Kindle Fire. I mean, it's pretty awesome. Go over it. It does go over the NREMT, but it doesn't cover much on the NREMT. The first chapter, and I think it's only like three or four pages. I think it's pretty subjective as far as the tips that it gives you or what to do before the NREMT. But like I said, this book is awesome if you are, and I'll go back to it. I'll, I'm also going to leave a, a link below. So if you want to get straight to, go straight to the book and buy it on Amazon. I buy all my stuff on Amazon. The reason I'm making this video is because I was asked a few times, what do I recommend? And I was going through my stuff today and I came across these two and I was like, oh crap, let me just go ahead and talk about these because I have nothing else to do. I have no life, so this is all I do. So yeah, this is a good book. Like I said, if you just want to go over some quick notes, not a big deal. EMT Crash Course and I am going to leave the link down below that takes you straight to this one. The other one is... National training, EMT national training. I got this one for my advanced EMT course. Super awesome book. I think that this was the key, maybe, for me passing my inner EMT. I was super confident going in. I really highly recommend this one. If not during your course, at least right after your course, it'll really prepare you for your inner EMT. The reason why is because, why I think it's good, is because the first little section of the book is dedicated to kind of mold, mold your mind, it helps mold your mind in a good way to approach the test. So it, it tells you how it's structured, what it's looking for, the little keywords, the little indicators that make that question completely change. All right, that's why this one is really good. And I just, I'll show you just a, a few of the pages in the beginning. So the first few pages just kind of go over the test, what to expect, things you should know about the test. And I, I highlighted a whole bunch of stuff on here. So as you can see, I did a whole bunch. If I thought it was pretty important, I didn't know and I, and I wanted to dig more into it or just remember, I highlighted it and I went back to it a few times. I think I went over this book at least three times um, because it was just that good. Now, as far as the questions, so this one is different also in that uh, the book on my Kindle Fire is just content. It's just broken down content, made real simple, no fluff. This one actually goes through just questions. It goes through questions just like you would find them on the NREMT, maybe even harder. 
So what I did after that, I think it's the first 10 pages or it's all about just what to expect, things to help you out. And I, I think you should really read the first section before you read the questions. If you read the questions and go to them, you might be good to go. But if you're like a lot of people I know, you're going to second guess yourself. You're just going to get the uh, wrong answers for the questions because you didn't read the first section. The first section just really helps you out and it, and it kind of clarifies everything and it tells you like don't, don't bring things into the scenario that aren't there. So as far as the rest of the book, the rest of the book, it's uh, all just questions and answers and the answers are all in the back. So what I did and the way I think it helped me out was that I went through every single question and then I answered. After I answered either just mentally or I wrote it down on, on a piece of paper, I would go to the back and I would look for that correct answer. If I was wrong, what I did, and you can see right here, I would highlight that question and then come back to it. I would see why I was wrong. And I think it does tell you, yeah, it does, it gives you the rationale in the back. Super awesome. So it tells you why the correct answer is the correct answer. And as you can see on a few of these, even these right here, back to back, I was getting them wrong. I just I wouldn't worry about it, I would highlight it, I would go back to the answer, look at the rationale, and then, okay, yeah, that made sense, and just keep on going. What I would do is every now and then I would go back through the book and really focus on those questions that I got wrong. So like I said, guys, I am. I hope these lead, uh, these help you out, even because I know my, my videos aren't for everybody, so if you come across this video, um, maybe these would help you out better or it could be a good supplement to add on to my videos and to your courses that you're taking I, I'm gonna make a, a whole bunch of these more I think that'll help you out because I did go through a whole bunch of books and it's been so long I actually forgot but I'm, I'll, I'll be making more of these I know I have some more books laying around here in my crap somewhere so I'll do some more again the link is below if you want to get straight to these make your life a little easier this one is a must have I think personally for your NRMT. The other one's good too, also though, just to kind of refresh your memory, like I said, review over some stuff. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys later. Bye.